um, yeah, disappointing. Obviously, is the initial feeling from the game, especially after going um, going one nil up in the game. I feel like we kind of lost control a little bit, which which happens sometimes when you go a goal up. You know, we kind of come away from what we was doing, which uh, which got us the goal in the first place. So. Um, yeah, just disappointing. It would have been nice to kind of see it out until half time, one nil up, and then it, that would have put us in a much better position going into the second half. And then, um, obviously, to concede that goal just before half time is disappointing and took the steam out of us a little bit. But I, I still felt like we come out for the second half like with a lot of energy, getting in behind them quite a bit. But um, just unfortunate they got us on the break with a goal. And um, yeah, towards the end of the game, obviously that that just got away from us a little bit, and it, it suited them all all the breaks in play. Connor, you know, at the end of the match there, I guess, was it just frustration that boiled over from the guys? Or I guess how it, or was it a tense kind of match with the tackles across the night? I guess, what were your, what were your feelings towards the end, at the end there? Yeah, it was obviously quite a physical game throughout anyway. Um, and you did feel like it always kind of had that um, potential to kind of spill over and then I think once they go two one up and you know we're pushing for a goal, it suits them to kind of get them breaks in play. And you know you'd like to think we'd we'd be the same if we was winning. You know you want to kind of slow the game down, don't let the other team get any momentum. And I think I think they did that. And um, I think it like you said, it just boils down to frustration and not being on the wrong end of the result and the ball being broke so much. You know the ball being out of play and not giving us that chance to kind of get any pressure onto them. So just frustration more than anything. Connor, Connor, I know it feels like a million years ago, but your penalty, your first goal for the club. Yeah. Um, you know, what was the? I know Diego's been taking pens in the past as well. Yeah. You know, what was the reason behind you taking the penalty and you know your execution? Um, I think I feel like I'm playing with confidence at the minute. I feel like I'm coming off the back of a a good game against LA, and I think that always helps going into your next game. So I was confident going into the night, and then um, thank the Diego, Diego, let me take it, and then um. Yeah, just uh, I think I'm always going to pick a spot and go for that from before the referees blew the whistle and thankfully it went in. Kind of the last couple of weeks, you guys have given up some goals, have given some space for some crosses. Now tonight, they get that little bit of space, get the shot off. Have you guys been talking about that and just how important is that for you guys to focus in and just say, hey, we have to make sure we limit even the opportunities they can take? Yeah, I think, um, I think especially at home, we tend to have a lot of possession, especially in the second half when Obviously, with the altitude, the away team starts to slow down a little bit, and you know we are we are a bit vulnerable sometimes to that break, especially when we go two one down and we're committing men forward. Um, they're always they've got a lot of speed and they're always going to be dangerous on the break. And even at one one, we you know sometimes we can get a bit ahead of ourselves and push forward a bit too much for that goal when we can be a little bit more patient. And then obviously they caught us on on the break, and a team with that kind of quality up front is going to punish you. Sorry, kind of going off of that, that first goal by Kai Wagner, was that kind of one that you just tip your cap to and move on? What was the message at halftime? One, one? Yeah, I think we need to watch it back because I think there's always points in the build-up where you can stop a goal like that. I think a lot happened before where maybe we could have stopped him actually getting the ball to where he got to, but um, the actual strike is, is a good finish and the, the timing of it's just deflating more than anything. I think if we can, like I said, if we can get in it, at half time, still one 0 up. We come out for the second half with a different mentality and probably win the game. So lately, it seems like the team has been really good on the road, but not really finding that that end product at home. But so, what exactly is the team set at, or is there anything you feel you're doing different to get that win at home, or is it just one of those things? Yeah, I think I think when team I think we play a little bit different away. I think when teams come here, like I said, the the second half, you know. The away team tends to get a little bit more tired and we, we have a little bit more of the ball, which maybe away from home we're not really used to. If you saw like the LA game were a lot more dangerous on the break and you know on the counter attack we look like scoring. Um whereas at home it's a little bit different. We have to kind of build up a little bit more and be be ready to kind of break teams down when they're gonna sit behind and um yeah, it's obviously something we we can improve on. It was nice to, you know, get a goal at home because obviously we've not been we've not been scoring too much at home so Hopefully we can kind of just build on that and put in the performances that we're putting in away from home at home as well. Connor, unrelated to the game, maybe your, what was the team's reaction to the news about Max this week, and do you think that had any impact psychologically tonight? 
Um, no, I don't think so. We're a, a team full of professionals, and um, we had a meeting when when it was when it came out, and we got told what the situation was, and we moved on from it and trained as normal. Connor, you touched on your confidence just building, and now you've got four assists um, and one goal under your belt this season. How do you just see yourself growing in the game, and especially in the attack with with the guys that you're working with, with Diego and uh, Pagano and everybody up top? Yeah, so in, in the last two games, I feel like I've had a little bit more license to get forward, which um, which I don't mind, especially obviously in the LA game when there was a lot of room. Um, tonight was a little bit more difficult. It was a bit congested in the middle, but it's nice to just kind of have that little bit of freedom to get higher up the pitch. But again, if I'm if I'm needed to play deeper or in the eight or the 10, I'm, I'm kind of happy to do that. And whatever kind of works best for the team and gets us results, that's what I'm happy to do, so. Hunter, um, lately you were building that relationship uh, with Max in, in, the, in the midfield. Yeah. Do, you, do you feel like you missed them, like that connectivity with, with someone, with the, the other teammates that you had tonight? Um, I think when you have a player like Max who's been starting a lot of games this season and was really growing in confidence, you're obviously going to miss him when he when he's missing the game. And um, Yeah, I think for any player that plays every week, like Max has been doing, when they come out of the team, it maybe changes it a little bit. but. Danny come in tonight, obviously it's off off the back of starting in the cup and done really well. Um a young lad obviously doesn't lack any confidence, likes to get on the ball. So you'd like to think that when players at, do come out the team for whatever reason, whether it's injuries that we have people waiting, like Danny, Ralph come on. Um we've got Cole and Brian coming back from injury now. So the squad's squad's looking a lot healthier and probably the healthiest been healthiest it's been all season, which we're gonna need with the uh, busy schedule coming up.